With Website.com, you can quickly and easily create your very own website with no coding experience. In this video, I'll show you how step-by-step -step, to create your own website for your own business with Website.com. Hi everyone, today I'll be walking you through creating your very own website for a spa. We're going to be creating a website called AbsoluteBlissSpa.com. So here we are on spa.website.com and the first thing we can do to get started is click on this big button in the middle that says create your website today. So this will take us to the themes page where we can choose a theme for our spa website. So if I scroll down to the bottom and I select urban spa and salon, this will take us to a demo page. So I can just show you some of the pages that come with this demo page. Um, let's say we go to the about page, you can see that we have content here. This content is all free to use and industry specific. We can also go to our services page. You can see that we have content here as well. I'll also take you to the products page, which you can see right here. We have product catalogs that come with our website editor. So you can use these product catalogs to actually sell products from your website. So we can go back to the home page. And if you feel like you like this site, this template, you can go up to the top right and click sign up and make your site like this. Now we can choose our domain name. So I'm going with AbsoluteBlissSpa.com. Then we can go ahead and click check availability. You can see that AbsoluteBlissSpa.com is available, so we can go ahead and click Next. Now we're on a page where we can choose a plan, as well as fill out some login and payment information. So I'll do that now. So now that we've filled out all of that information, we can simply click create my account now. This will take us to a page with two links, one to view our website now and one to begin building our website now. For me, I'll take a short break to wait for my account activation email before I can begin building my website. So I've now received my account activation email and I can begin building my website now. So I'll click on that link. This will take us to our website.com web editor. And before we can get started editing the website, we'll have a quick tour to help us get started. So I'll quickly run you through that. Step one of the tour is the color scheme section. Here you can choose a color scheme to fit your website by clicking on design and then color schemes. Step two is you can edit various elements of your page simply by clicking on that element. Step three is your navigation menu up here where you can navigate between the different pages of your site. Step four, the undo and redo buttons to undo and redo the changes you've just made. Step five is the publish button up here which you'll hit once you're done editing. And finally, we have the help section over here with helpful links to our YouTube channel as well as support. We're now here on our urban spa and salon template and we'll be turning this into the Absolute Bliss Spa website. So the first thing we can do is get rid of this slideshow here in the middle. So I'm going to click on this, and in this blue menu, click on this trash icon. Now what I'm going to be doing is adding an image. So to add an image, I can go over to the sidebar and click on Add. And then I can click on this that says Image, choose Image. And here I'm given two options. I can choose from one of our diverse selection of stock images, or I can upload my own image. So I'm going to upload my own image for this. And I have a JPEG right here called Meditation. So I'll use this image and I'll just put this in roughly the same place that the other one was. So I'll put it there and you can see that this is now overlapping the title that we had here. So to change the layer that this image is on, we can click on it. And in this blue menu, we'll choose Send to Back. And we can move this up a little bit. Excellent. That looks good. We'll also be changing the name of the website. 
Because we went with absolute bliss, we'll be changing it up here as well as right here. So to change the text, we can click on it. And here it says edit text. I can click on that and that will open up the text editor where you can choose different font styles, font types, sizes, colors, bolding, italicized, you name it. So I'll change this now. And I'll just move this over a bit. And I'll also change it down here. I can also add in my own content simply by copying and pasting in text from an external document. So I'll do that here. You can see I have text right here that I'll click on and choose edit text. And then I can open up my external document and copy and paste in content from that. There you have it. I'll also walk you through a few of the other features of our web editor. So I can go over to the left and you can see I mentioned our add section before and here you can add various elements to your web page. We also have our design section right here. So what's open right now is the color scheme section and these are the different colors that make up your website. So you can choose different color schemes and you'll see those changes reflected on the site. You can see the colors are changing. But for now, I like the template default scheme. And we'll close that. As I mentioned earlier, this template also comes with industry specific content, which is entirely free to use. So for this page, if you remember, I had a products page that was a product catalog. But for the absolute bliss spa page that I'm trying to create, I want it to be a spa website that provides service but has no products to sell. So what we're going to be doing is deleting the product page. To delete the product page, we can go over to the sidebar and choose the pages section. And we want to keep this special offers page, but we want to get rid of the shop and products pages. So to get rid of those pages, we'll need to make sure that this special offers and promotions page won't be got rid of. So we need to move this out of the subcategory of the shop page. To move it out, you can click on this little icon beside it and drag it. And I'll just move it above the shop category for now. And you can see that I have my special offers and promotions page here. So what I'll do now is go over back to my pages section, go to the shop page, and I'll choose this X here, which will get rid of the page and its sub pages. So I'll click OK. And you can see that's gone there. If I go back to the pages, you'll notice that all I have left is my special offers page. Finally, what I'll be doing is adding a blog page. So to add a blog page, I can go over to the pages section again and choose add page. Here you'll see I have a bunch of different categories of pages I can add. So what I'm going to be doing is choosing the blog page and I'll be calling this page blog. Then I can click done. You can see I have my blog page here and I'll just quickly create a new blog entry. Then I can click save and you'll see I have my very first blog post here. What I'll be doing now is going to the contact page. So I can go up to my navigation menu and choose contact. On this page, you'll see that we have a Google Maps app right here. So I'm going to be changing the location displayed on this Google Maps app. To change it, I can click on it and choose settings here. And then over here in the panel box, I can change the address that's displayed. And it's that easy. Now, I also want to change the order of which things are displayed in my menu. So you can see up here that I have my special offers and promotions page before my contact and blog pages. I want my contact page to be at the very end. So I can go over to pages. And this time I'm going to move the contact page below the blog page. And I'm also going to move my blog page above my special offers page. So you'll notice that I have all these pages here and under this more section here, I have special offers and promotions as well as my contact page. That looks good. The last thing I'm going to be doing is changing this page to ensure that it displays well on mobile screens. So to switch over to the mobile editor, I can go up here to the top left and click this button that looks like a mobile phone. 
And you'll notice that my absolute bliss here that I created earlier, this logo up top, overlaps a little bit with this icon. So I can simply move some things around and ensure that they look good on a mobile screen. That looks good. And let's head back to our home page. And you can see that this image that I added earlier goes off the screen out of the guidelines. So I'm going to need to do some resizing of that as well. So to resize, I can click on it and I can move around these little white dots that surround the image. So I'll just move this over here and I'll move this up here. How about we put this white bar there as well and move that down. Awesome. But there's also a little bit of cutoff here on the image. So we can click on it and then in this blue menu choose pan and zoom. And I'll zoom out and I'll pan it over a little bit. Press done and you can see there we have it. Before we can publish our page, we want to ensure that all of our mobile pages are activated for mobile publishing. To do that, go over to the pages section while in the mobile editor and enable mobile view. Confirm that. And now all of these pages, mobile and desktop, will be published once we hit the publish button. So now I can simply go up to the top right and click this publish button and that will publish our website. And it's that easy. I've easily walked you through creating your very own spa website using some of our own industry specific content as well as showing you how to add your own images, add in your own content from an external document. If you have any more questions, feel free to watch our other video tutorials or contact our support. Thanks for watching.